welcome back to Live from Studio B. I'm Liz Crandall. And I'm Joe Loria. We have a lot going on today. It's our last show. It's the holiday season. And Joe's trying to grow a mustache. So is Liz. <laughs> Anyways, let's check out the news. An ethics report found that George Santos used campaign funds to pay for OnlyFans, Botox, and Sephora. How could they know it was him? Each purchase was made under the username, not George Santos too. Considering a not Joe Loria 3 subscribed to my OnlyFans yesterday, it's not that shocking. <laughs> Four men were charged with theft after stealing a satirical golden ticket. However, they did not take the matching golden shower. <laughs> Rookie mistake. <laughs> Evangelical Christian furries are worried they'll be targeted for their faith. Now that's what I call mass persecution. <laughs> are you kidding me right meow? <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow's ski incident trial has inspired a London musical. Gwyneth was quoted saying, this ballad sounds like my vagina. That's a little too much gooping for me. A plane was forced to return to JFK after a horse on board got loose. When asked to comment, the horse said, nay. <laughs> Sorry. Rehab was supposed to be a fresh start. <laughs> the Supreme Court announced it's adopting a code of ethics. The Supreme Court was also the name of my hype beast tennis club in high school. We didn't have a code of ethics. Speaking of really ethical people, the January 6th rioter known as QAnon Shaman is now running for Congress. He doesn't want to be a politician. He just left his phone inside. Shaman. <laughs> a California book club spent money on the his wife. On the other side of the country, a Syracuse student hasn't done a single reading assignment all semester. This guy. <laughs> Obviously. Chuck E. Cheese removes animatronics in all locations except one following the release of Five Nights at Freddy's. This is just like when they removed all the sharks from the ocean after Jaws came out. Who wrote that? A deer charged through the window of a Wisconsin Noodles and Company restaurant. Tell him to order the mac and cheese. Facts. <laughs> a 13-year-old breaks the world record for underwater magic tricks. The previous record holder, our own Liz Crandall. She didn't have much going for her in middle school. I don't see you breaking any world records unless it's for worst mustache. <laughs> a subscription box company will pay someone $2,000 to watch Hallmark movies. Meanwhile, we've tried to pay people for years to watch this show. <laughs> a group of fishermen find a rare split-colored red and blue lobster. You've heard of rock lobster. Now prepare for yourself for bipartisan lobster. <laughs> Giant tumbleweeds forced highway detours in California. But who won the duel outside the local saloon? Aaron Burr? <laughs> Pop star Sabrina Carpenter faced criticism for her potential Best New Artist Grammy nomination. Meanwhile, Sabrina Plummer is nominated for Best Toilet Fixer. Do you think she can fix my golden shower? Maybe. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet claims people didn't want him to mess up the role of Willy Wonka. Unfortunately, an outbreak of chlamydia is already present amongst the Oompa Loompas. <laughs> Give enough people clap, it eventually becomes applause. 